sufficient variation in rhythm and tempo. We're gonna do a drill for that today, but that's up to two. Are you going pose, 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 skill, pose? Or are you going pose, 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 big body wave, hit it right into our skill. Do we see a variation in rhythm? Insufficient sureness. That's literally, are you sure of yourself? Do you look terrified? Are you terrified? If you are, you gotta fake it till you make it. Cause they can take up to two at the end of your routine. Like that kid looked terrified. She stopped in between everything. It looked like she was thinking about the next thing. You want it to go smoothly and be fully extended. Insufficient level changes. We're gonna talk about that today. Are you going up on high toe? Are you going down on your knees? Are you laying down on the beam? Do you only lay down on the beam at the beginning and then just walk through the rest of your routine? They wanna see that variety throughout. Did you use the whole beam? The good thing is at level nine and 10, most of you probably dismount from one end and use the whole beam. So you had to work your way there and then dismount. If you don't use the whole beam, you can lose up to a 10th. If you do a gainer dismount off the middle of the beam, you wanna be aware of that. Did you go to both ends of the beam or did you kind of stay in the middle? Your direction of your choreography. Do you do forward choreography? Do you do side choreography? Do you do back choreography? You have to have at least two out of the three. If you do everything, for, most everybody has forward, right? So that's pretty easy. Do you do some side poses? Guess what? That's a great time to have focus on your judge, right? Side choreography, look at me judge, I'm facing sideways, I'm looking at you. So you can get a couple things in that. Do you have more than one pivot turn? That's new this year. You used to be able to have two, now you can only have one. Your pivot turn is literally this. You're only allowed to have one for free. So say you get to your meet. You tell your coach, I'm gonna dismount off this end, but then you get ready to go and you're standing there and you're facing this way and you're like, ah, I told them the wrong end. And you have to do choreography down to the other end of the beam. What do you not wanna do to turn around? A pivot turn. You want to be creative. You can squat down and turn. You can do a side pose and turn. You can do a half turn. You don't want to have another pivot if you had one in your routine. Now, if you don't have any pivots choreographed in your routine, you're fine. Does that make sense? But have you ever gotten confused and you kind of turn around and then you turn around again? If you do more than one pivot turn, you're going to lose a tenth. That's new this year. So the first thing I want you to do, this is the boring routine. The judge is definitely taking a deduction. You're going to do poses down the beam. Any pose you want, but I don't want you to change level. I just want you to hit pose, 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 pose as you're walking down the beam. Second group, you can start as soon as they're out of your way. Are you ready? And go. Pose, 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 pose. Keep it going. Good job. Now you felt how that was just kind of boring, right? Even some of you even got a little bit more creative than it could have been. That was no level changes, right? That was terrible footwork because we were flat footed and that was the same rhythm. All we're gonna change this time is we're gonna change our rhythm. So our rhythm this time is going to go. Okay. So that's the only thing we're changing. Ready, go. Good job. Now you're gonna go pose, 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 slow pose. Pose, 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 slow pose. Ready, go. Slow pose. Slow pose. Slow pose. Slow pose. Slow pose. Better. Okay, now we're adding a level change. Remember, level can be up, it can be down. So you can go on high toe, you could do a half squat, you could kneel, you could go all the way down. We're keeping the rhythm the same so you don't have to think about too many things changing at once. But I need to see level changes. Pose, 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 
pose. There you go. Big pose. Slow pose. Good. Slow pose. Nice job. In your level change, you must touch your torso. That's anywhere from your hips to your shoulder. You don't have to pop right back up. You can stay down for the next set of poses, but something has to touch. Your bum, your belly, your back, your shoulder. Are we ready? Same rhythm. Good. Make sure the person ahead of you is out of the way because this one takes a little longer. That's okay, pose. Pose, pose, slow pose. Good. Slow pose. Okay, now compared to the first pass, what did you guys think? Significantly different, right? So that is showing you rhythm. It's showing you footwork. It's showing you level changes. We went from one end of the beam to the other. So we got a lot of those deductions kind of in a nutshell taken care of. Almost all of you did a great job using your head too. We're gonna do it one more time. I'm not gonna clap it out. You can do whatever rhythm you want. And I also want you to think about your focus. So hit your poses, make sure you change your rhythm. And I also want you to make sure you're looking to the right, to the ceiling, and to me. Okay? Go ahead, first group, go. Make sure we hit a torso pose too. Good job. So much more interesting than that first pass, right? Beautiful job, ladies.